Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to discuss about cargo securing manual. So according to Solas chapter 6 and 7, it requires a vessel to be provided with a cargo securing manual. And the guidelines to make the cargo securing manual, the guidelines to make the cargo securing manual is located in the code of safe practices for the cargo storage and securing that we call what that we call CSS code. So the guidelines is uh, there in CSS code and uh, with the help of these guidelines, we need to make the cargo securing manual. Now we'll discuss about the contents. So it has four sections and six appendixes. Now we will uh, see what are these four sections and uh, the chapters in them. So first one is the uh, so first one is general. So general in general, we have six data definition, general information, principal sources of danger. Then we have a uh, in second, uh, we have securing devices and arrangement. In this, we have specifications of fixed cargo securing devices, specifications of portable. In first, we have fixed. In second, we have portable. Then we have, uh, at last, we have inspection and maintenance schemes. Then we have uh, storage of securing of cargo. Storage and securing of cargo. In this, we have handling uh, and safety informations or instructions. General principles of uh, the cargo securing. Safe handling of cargo securing devices. Evolution of forces acting on cargo units. Forces acting on cargo units. Calculation of forces in semi and non-standardized lashing arrangements. So four, we have supplementary. We have supplementary requirements for general uh, cargo and container vessel. And in this, we have first is bulk carriers. So in bulk carriers, we are extracts from various timber tech codes. Then we have container carrier. In this, we have handling and safety instruction. So in supplementary requirements, we have only bulk carrier and container carriers. Then we have appendix. So in appendix, uh, we have uh, first is log of maintenance of cargo securing impairment. So in this first, we will have log of maintenance of cargo securing equipment. In second, we have a manual procedure for calculation of lashing. Manual procedure for calculation of lashing, not uh, by using loadicator. Then we have uh, applicable annexes for CSS code. Then we have IMO user guide. Then we have certification of fixed cargo securing devices. Then at last we have certification of portable securing devices. So these are the important uh, information that you need to know about the cargo securing manual and hope you have liked it. Thank you.